Lifestyle Medical Spa, right downtown Chicago on Stetson Street. I'm so glad you have me here in Chicago in your office. Yes, yeah, our new office, but yeah. thanks for having me back. Do you remember I was on your show before? Yeah, he came all the way to Gary to the studio, and he was talking about, you were talking about all the hair transplant, uh, new techniques and right. uh, things that, that they have developed. Ago. Right, but now there are even more things to talk about because they're new um development in the hair industry as well. True, true. Right, right. A lot of exciting things going on in the hair industry. Well, refresh them with your uh, history and um, your education and who you really are. Sure, <laughs> sure. So, I mean, to put it in a nutshell, born and raised in Chicago, went to school at Northwestern. I was a cancer surgeon by trade, but over time I was losing my hair. So, say when I was in my mid-20s, my hairline was kind of in the middle of my head, mm -hmm. and it wasn't my best look. Okay. You know? So I had a hair transplant when I was 38 and it made such a huge difference in my life that I kind of dedicated my whole career to doing that, helping others regain their confidence through hair transplants and hair care. So recently I opened my own practice. I'm not working with anybody else. I'm my own doctor. I do everything here and I do hair transplants and I've also created a hairline that's for all type of hair. A lot of people always ask me, they say, well, what race is your hair for? You know, mm -hmm. and I tell them it's for the human race. Oh, you know? of course. Of right. Course. right. So the product line is, is a multicultural product line. Then. Multicultural mm -hmm. product line. Uh, it protects the hair, helps the hair grow, and holds the color, uh, protects it against bacteria, protects it against inflammation, and just does everything that I think a product line should do to give somebody healthy hair. Pretty good. Now, with me being a hairstylist, I also have two beautiful models here, and I used the product line on the hair, and it was amazing. It was really easy to work with. I've been working with this line since, I think, January, and I found out that every time I use it, there's something new that I learned, and there's something in this product line that will allow the hair to bounce. It allows the hair to shine. I'm just so thrilled that you have this product line uh, for us to use as stylists and uh, home care. Well, once you, you know, use the product at home, then you'll see for yourself how much you will like it as well. But um, you did some really science searching. I want to say soul searching, but it's not soul searching. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a little both because yes. there's so many products that say when you go in any drugstore or grocery store, even a beauty product store, there are a million products out there. So how are you going to know which one to choose? Right. And I'd always ask my patients, like, well, what product do you use? What's this? What's that? And then I would ask them, why do they use it? And it pretty much came down to one or two things. Either their stylist said, hey, just use it because yes. it's good for you. Or they went on the Internet and they saw something on the Internet where it says this grows your hair back. Right. But I have to tell people the Internet is probably not the best place to believe information for, you know, because the Internet is like a one-sided conversation. You know, okay. it's just somebody saying, use my product, it's the best. Right. You know, so you just have to be careful. So what I wanted to do is to make a product that had some science behind it. Okay. It really had something that you could grab into and say, hey, there's some ingredients in here that really help your hair. You know, and so that's what I did. It took a few years to do testing after testing after testing, mm -hmm. but I think we, we're on to something here. Right, because some of the product you were talking about has a thickening agents in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that the pumpkin seed oil? Tell us about that. Yeah. Uh, what we've basically done, we have three kind of tiers, like three shampoos. Mm -hmm. We have an apple cider vinegar shampoo. We'll talk about that later. Then we have a thickening shampoo and then a hydrating shampoo. Okay. And with each one of these, we also have a corresponding conditioner. 
in the shampoos, we made the shampoos sulfate free. We put something in there called biotin, which everyone knows is a hair vitamin. Yes. Now, everybody I know whose hair is thinning is on biotin. Of course, because uh, it thickens the hair. When, uh, right. Well, it's, it goes, a, it's something that works on, from the inside as well. That's you know, that, it gives, it's a vitamin that works from the inside. And biotin really has no side effects. That's correct. Mm -hmm. All the, I mean, it's nobody that can really get in trouble by taking too much vitamin. Right. I mean, biotin. I said okay. vitamins, but <laughs> biotin. You, you can't take too much because your body is smart enough that if you take too much, it'll just pass it through. So yes. it won't hurt you. Right. So we've also put pumpkin seed oil in all of our hair care products because pumpkin seed oil, uh, what it does is it blocks the hormone that causes hair loss. So it'll actually okay. reduce shedding of the hair mm -hmm. and thicken the hair. And we've also put something Thick. that's ahead, called okay. yucca root which is very uh, prevalent in the Native American community mm -hmm. and where they smash the roots up and yucca root placed on the hair reduces inflammation so the hair doesn't itch, the hair doesn't get bacterial infections and doesn't fall out. So it's, that's kind of our big three. Right, and then you have argon oil in some of the products as well. And uh, tell us about the argon. Yeah, we have products, two products made with argan oil. And argan oil is a very specific oil that actually strengthens the hair and prevents breakage of the hair and it's very light so it and it doesn't have a smell so it's not like the hair is okay. thick or greasy mm -hmm. or some tom, some uh, pomade and we have it in a spray on version where you just spray it on and then we have it on a version where you just place it in your palm put a dime sized little area there and then place it on your hair Welcome back. I'm Karina Mitchell, and I'm here at Dr. Yates Hair Science Lifestyle Medical Spa. And uh, you just moved to this location downtown, which I'm really excited about because you were so far away. We were far. <laughs> but a lot of people who live way in North Chicago on the north side don't want to come to the city. That's why we had that location. But I love the city of Chicago, so I just said, hey, if they want to see us, they just have to come to the city. That's good, because um, the parking is not bad here as well. You it's can just bad. run right in and put your blinkers on. Right? <laughs> and, and hope you don't get a ticket. <laughs> but it, it, it's a great location. You know, the other thing I wanted to mention, there's something here that I think is really cool. This is called edge control. Now, yeah. edge control is a big deal because everyone, men and women, are always struggling with their edges. You probably know this as to well. To hold them down. To hold them down and to regrow them. Like, I can't, in one week, we must see, I'm going to say, five or six women who come in talking about their edges are breaking off, so forth and so on, and I'll ask them what they're doing for it. And you'll just be amazed at the regimens that people use, like mayonnaise and lemon. Oh, because those are natural. Okay, coconut. <laughs> And parsley. I mean, anything you can think of, things you'd even want to eat that they, they sounded good, they're putting on their But edges. it's temporary when you use things like that. When you go to your refrigerator, it's like real temporary. But um, I've been using the edge control to hold down my little baby hair, you know. And um, not only is it good for that, but what I really like about this edge control, it has the black Jamaican castor oil in it. Wow. She, she's done her homework. <laughs> of course, because I'm a stylist and I use it and I want my clients to have beautiful, healthy hair. And the, uh, the black Jamaican uh, castor oil is, is just an amazing thing. It's a hot thing right now, actually. Everybody's going to the store. And, yeah, uh, and it's a superior that. oil and it uh, prevents hair breakage because with the edges, the problem with the edges is the hair has been breaking because of styling with braids or relaxers or 
things that make the hair break. So you want an oil that penetrates the cuticle that's not too thick that will let the hair breathe and grow. So the Jamaican castor oil is actually superior and that's in our edge control. It's not too thick. Mm -hmm. So it'll hold the hair down. You and know what, what we're talking about, edges. Edges. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now this I use a lot too in the salon because there are women who are thinning hair. Mm -hmm. uh, this is all about education, you guys, mm -hmm. because we want you to have the best, look your best, and not have to go somewhere and I'm a little embarrassed about some of the things that are going on with your hair, the thinning and... And, 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 and you can get immediate results. Actually. Right. right. So you don't have to wait and... You know, because a hair transplant, a this lot of people is, don't know. It, takes it looks a while. like real, really. It looks like real hair. These are fibers, right? Keratin fibers. Keratin protein. fibers, right? Right. So you put it in your hair, and um, it thickens certain areas of your hair where it's thinning. And you won't even be able to tell that your hair is thinning. I use this a lot in the salon, too. I use it a lot on myself. And the good thing about this product is it's keratin fibers. This will not come out when you sweat, won't come out in the rain, won't come out in the wind. Um, it doesn't make your hair grow. A lot of, we get a lot of people who email us and say, I want some of that stuff that will make your hair grow that thickens it. And you know, This is purely a cosmetic product that it gives you immediate gratification that your hair is thicker. It binds to your own hair. It doesn't hurt your hair because a lot of people always say, well, will it clog my pores? You know, it won't no, clog no, it anything. Doesn't do that. It doesn't no. do that. Um, this is an amazing show because uh, Dr. Yates has taken out his time and invested in a new product line for us to use throughout our communities. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk more about his hair care line and also some of the questions, some of the things that you. Well, you can't, this is not live, so you can't call in and ask questions, but we're trying to give you the information that uh, you will be able to help yourself at home or you'll be able to, like he says, go online, look at a few things that you may like, but then you have to listen to us and maybe you can yeah. discern right, whether can. you want to use this product or that product. It doesn't matter, sure. we just get more information. Welcome back. I'm Karina Mitchell, and I'm here at Dr. Yates Hair Science Lifestyle Medical Spa, right downtown Chicago on Stetson Street. Um, we were talking about this new product line, Royal Remedy, which is a beautiful line. And we talked about everything that you put on top of the head. But there is something very, very important that you need in order to have healthy hair, healthy cells, and sometimes we don't eat right, and uh, we're on the go. We're a fast-paced community. Uh, there's vitamins with mega biotin. Thanks. Yeah. This is your new vitamins. This is our new vitamins. And like you said, a lot of people are on the go. They have poor nutrition, so we kind of mm -hmm. solved it for them and created a vitamin that has what you need to actually make your hair thicker. Of course, biotin is a vitamin that helps build healthy protein bonds in the hair mm -hmm. that makes the hair thicker and can also make people's nails thicker. People okay. taking the vitamins and say, hey, my hair is growing, my nails look better, my skin looks better. Right. You know, so it's kind of a win-win. We also put vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin D, all these vitamins that we know that people with hair loss sometimes are deficient mm -hmm. in these vitamins. Mm -hmm. So it's very important, like we stress at our Lifestyle Med Clinic that a better lifestyle you know, equals better hair. Right. The better you take care of your body, the better your hair is going to look. But you know, now that we're talking about these products, which is really good, but when he said lifestyle med clinic, there is much more going on in this clinic besides just hair care and products. Right. Because you also have... Uh, we do all the facial injections. It's a spa. It's a yeah. creating a healthy lifestyle. We do uh, nutritional counseling. Mm -hmm. We do fat reduction. Right. Um, we do scalp micropigmentation, we do facials, yes. and body massage as well. Oh, okay. okay. We, so we do all these things. It's almost like, it's, if one of those you were promoting on Facebook, it was like a liposuction without the liposuction, without the surgery. Yes, and, and, and what that is now, there are actually three ways to make fat go away. Well, that's okay. actually four, but one, liposuction is actually surgical where you take an instrument in 
and actually like a straw-like apparatus, you suck the fat away. Yes. Then another way is you freeze the fat. That's called, you know, cryo-fat reduction, and there are a lot of machines that do that. And then the other way is to heat the fat, and that's the kind of machine we have. That's called sculpture, where it raises the temperature of the fat cells to a point where the fat cells die and your body eliminates them. So that's what we have. So how long does it last after you use the uh, treatment? Used it, treatment? It lasts forever. Those fat cells get killed. Get out of here. No, seriously. <laughs> Those fat cells are destroyed. They get eliminated by your body, and they're gone forever. Now, that doesn't mean you'll stay skinny forever okay. in that area because the fat cells that are left behind, if you keep eating, will get bigger. Okay. You know, they'll get bigger. Bigger than they were before. if you had not used the... Uh... Yes, bigger than because they'll take the room of the other fat oh, cells that, that you've they, lost. Exactly. Oh, okay. But the good news is, say if you reduce those fat cells by heating them and you eliminate them, and you keep doing the right things, like we said, better lifestyle, yes. better hair, working better body, out working out, diet control, you will have spot reducing. Uh -huh. It will work. Right. Works right. every time. If you do your part, we'll do our part. Also, Botox as well? Botox, yes, we do Botox, we do fillers, mm -hmm. uh, and as well as facials, and tattoo removal as well. I forgot oh, about you, that. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. We do that. You also, you're a celebrity doctor. <laughs> Star Jones was in here not too long ago. Yes, she was just in here to talk, though, <laughs> which is fine because she has a new TV show that's coming out about a book that uh, she wrote Okay. Uh, about her, um, well, I, I don't know if it's fictional or not, but it's about her time on being on TV shows or somebody's uh, life on a TV show and all the drama that goes on on the scenes and behind the scenes with these talk shows. Mm -hmm. So it's coming out in the spring very soon, so uh, I can't wait to see it. So she was by just talking about her show. Oh, that was interesting. You also had another celebrity down here, uh, Lewis Carr. Lewis Carr, yeah. yeah. Lewis Carr is a super celebrity, you know, yes. as running BET. And he's a good friend and uh, a mentor of mine. Right, he has a new book out called Dirty Little Secrets. Dirty, Dirty Little Secrets. And yeah. The funny thing is a lot of his secrets that he said in the book are things that I have told my children all the time. Okay, you know? yeah, so he, he does give good information, lifestyle great, information Great as well. advice, he's very because successful. He, he, he grew up under um, John Johnson and um, Earl Graves. Earl Graves, right. Right, right, right. So with him writing a book and telling that story, that's, that's amazing. I would like to get him on the show as well. And um, we're just letting you know what's going on with Dr. Yates here at the Lifestyle Medical Spa. I like the way you did the WWR, you know, it's kind of royal. You took it all the way to a classy level, I would say. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I like, well, it's nothing too much more behind it than I like the color purple and the color <laughs> yellow. <laughs> so we kind of put it together and it, and it kind of flowed. Oh, okay, okay, Royal Remedy. Right, well, and it is a remedy that. because a, a lot of products, I don't know what they are, you know, but we're saying that ours will remedy a condition. If you have troubled hair, or even if your hair is perfect, this will keep your hair you in know a good what? condition. You do remedy conditions because you have this Miracle Blowout, and Miracle Blowout is a like a Brazilian treatment. Yes, yes. It's, it has mega conditionings in it. Is yes. that true? That's true. Mm -hmm. This basically is pure protein that you apply to your hair, and it's a sealant that kind of seals the cuticle and protects the hair against heat. Mm -hmm. So most people, the way they use it, stylists use it, before they blow out the hair, they spray this through the hair yeah. just a little bit, and it keeps the curl, it keeps whatever style you want to have, depending on how you blow dry it, and it prevents flyaways, it doesn't smell, or produce smoke or all those things that you see in studios where right. they're doing somebody's hair and orange fires And then up. you hear a lot of people talking about the Brazilian blowout and what have you, and mm -hmm. it has the formaldehyde in it. Yeah. Well, this is formaldehyde-free. That's correct. So? Oh, yeah. It doesn't mm -hmm. smell like anything. I mean, when you use it, um, well... I think it's a brand-new bottle and it's, it's not It's a brand-new bottle, up. but it's not open. But, <laughs> but you can just smell. It doesn't have any smell to it. None, none whatsoever. Right. It's a and clean smell. Well, you can right. say that. Okay, it's, it's very clean. It's clean. Yeah. So anything with formaldehyde and formaldehyde oh, is a, a preservative. Oh, my God, yeah. Okay. It will have such a scent 
You know, you'd be able to smell it across the street. And wow. formaldehyde's bad because it's been linked to a couple of different cancers. Oh, yeah, it is. And it is. lung disease. So, right. I mean, if you don't have to use it, don't use anything with any formaldehyde in it. Exactly. Now, this apple cider vinegar, baby, let me tell you guys, <laughs> it is the top of the line. Because what I did with my, well, my client's hair, I colored her hair. So I had to take her pH balance all the way up to a 14 in order to lift her hair. Wow. So now I need to bring it back down to its normal state. So once I get her in the shampoo bowl and rinsed out the bleach, I dumped that apple cider vinegar right into her hair. And it did what, Dr. X? It brings the pH <laughs> down so it'll seal the cuticle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so therefore providing she, healthier she's hair. She's testing me. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose I didn't know that answer. <laughs> You know it. Oh, okay. That's why we're here because you are always full of information and mm -hmm. education. When I look at your Facebook page, you all have you always have um, just knowledge. You're just been, and knowledge is king. And and you are full of the information that we love. We love to know how to take care of our bodies and our health. And you are providing that with this new product line. <laughs> We just had the beautiful models show their hair. So what do you think about the models? Wow, well, <laughs> I'm really impressed. Um, Thank you. Not, their hair not only organically looked good, you know, your styling it just added that finishing touch. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to ask you, why are you and Gary instead of Hollywood? <laughs> well, you know, Gary's a special place as well. It's very special. Yes, it is. You know, the home of the Jacksons and... Um, why do you think the Jacksons like never came back to Gary? They're I mean, there what now. What do you mean they're there? Who's there? Tito? No, Catherine Jackson, the mama baby. Catherine Jackson's in yes, Gary? Yes, and she is promoting our city and she's Wait a giving second. money to she the schools. She lives in Gary? Yes. Catherine Jackson you don't lives even in Gary. Know. Catherine is always in Gary. Wow. She's in that home. 2100 Jackson Street? 2300 oh, Jackson 20, Street. <laughs> well, I know it's 20 something. I used to love that song. Yes, Catherine Tw Jackson is always there. So she, I can go by there this afternoon. I'll see she, her sitting on the lawn drinking today. lemonade. No, mm -hmm. you may not no. see her today. She goes back and forth. But when you see that trailer outside, she, you know that she's at home. Okay. Right. And not only that, she has a lot of relatives there. Okay. And, and her home is so special to her. Uh, that's her favorite place to be, actually. Wow. Right there in Gary, Indiana. She wants to turn one of the schools into a Mark, Michael Jackson performing arts school. Nice. She just offered the city about a million dollars to start getting that going. Mm -hmm. But Catherine really loves Gary, Indiana. And, uh, with, and I can understand why. It's her home. Oh, no question. All her relatives are there. Mm -hmm. And after being such a celebrity all over the world, it's nice to really come back home and get into your little... Where your roots where you are. Start, where your roots are and where you started. Um, not only that, Gary has a lot of arts. We have so many artists. We have musicians, singers. We have uh, Ray. He's, he's uh, Ray McLaughlin. He's uh, moved here from Hollywood to I Gary, heard that. Indiana. Right, right. And he wants to build a studio in Gary, Indiana. I'd love to hear Ray's story one day. Oh, okay. That'll be good. We so, can have Ray on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will. Mm -hmm. We're going to take him from behind. I have had Ray on, as you a have? matter of fact. Ray's a musician, and you are too. Ray yes. plays the uh, guitar. Oh, no, I play right. the piano. Okay. Right, right, right. You're a classical pianist, mm -hmm. pianist right? Mm -hmm. I keep saying you got to come to the, my other set when okay. I'm at the loft and have a stage and uh, we we can be we can push your uh, right we can push your piano right up to the stage. Beautiful. Okay. And um, W. C. So, Daniels. Yep, he's an artist. Mm -hmm. Right. So there's so much hidden treasures in Gary, Indiana. Why would you want to leave? True. 
I love Gary. Right. And it's so close to Chicago. What, 20 minutes away? So I have the best of both worlds. You do. You yeah, do. I sure do, living in Gary. Um, well, I didn't mean to distract you. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to talk about GI, baby. Let yeah, me tell okay, you about okay. the G. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, what about Chicago? We love Chicago. Chicago is booming. Downtown Chicago is really booming. Yes, and I, I was born and raised here in Chicago, okay. so it's very dear to me. What neighborhood in Chicago? Ten minutes from here. They call it Brownstone. I mean, no, uh, Bronzeville now. Oh, you don't even know. Uh, oh, he... <laughs> well, Brown something. Bronzeville. That's what they okay, call it now. Okay, that's where you were raised. Yes, yeah, where I was raised. But okay. when I was raised there, it was just where you're raised. You know, everywhere in Chicago now has a name. It was really cool. It was really cool. Bronzeville has a great history as well. It you does. Know? Right. Don't ask me much about it, though. Jack Johnson, I study it. There's a okay, lot of people good. that came out of Bronzeville. Uh, her me? kid lived in Bronzeville. You lived in Bronzeville. Right. right. And my friend, my friend Nelson McLemore, he, he came out of Bronzeville. <laughs> That's your buddy from high school? Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of good people came out of Bronzeville. Right, right. So um, the Midwest is really a beautiful place and, to be. What about Chance the Rapper? Oh, right. He's right out of here from Chicago. Yeah, and he just gave like, I think, $100 million trillion dollars back to the schools. I believe He you. beat Catherine Jackson's money. <laughs> he he made Catherine Jackson's too. money he look like nothing. No, he gave like he a, gave a million hundred too. million. And Kanye. <laughs> I mean, Kim Bennett is my friend. <laughs> Kanye West, he built the whole something Well, he here. beat Kanye West in giving, I'll tell you that. He did, but Kanye's <laughs> doing all kind of stuff. He got a bridge and a mountain. A whole lot of stuff here in Chicago. Kanye was. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. <laughs> well, That's just anyway, two. We're just two letting people. you know what's going on in the Midwest. Yeah. And hopefully this product line can, because when I told you about the product, I was like, uh -huh. look, you got the Midwest, Dr. Yates. You got Detroit. You got Gary. You have uh, Minnesota. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I mean, this is how you got to take this product line. You, you got to take it Start in the Midwest. Oh, yeah. Right, right. And then the Midwest spread is the out. Mecca. Right, it right. is. It is. So I'm really happy. Most product companies start right here in the Midwest. True. You had Johnson Products start right here. In Luster Midwest. Products. Luster Products started right here in the Midwest. Right. So you, you're just... We're in good hands here in the Midwest. Yes, you are. Yes. You are. And starting in the Midwest is a great thing because you have... A lot of traction here. A lot, of, a lot of great people here. It's right in the middle of the United States. Yes. We get clients come in from East Coast, East Coast, West Coast all the time. So mm -hmm. Chicago and Gary are a great place to live. Right. Well, now that we, you know all about us <laughs> and where we're from and what we do, we're going to have to wrap this up. Okay. Because time is Well, good. I want to say one more thing. Yes. Don't ever forget about the Shy Lights. Oh, I'm no. old, so the Shy Lights, they're, they're really good. You know good. what? I just had Brian Record on the show. Oh, really? Eugene Record? No, Brian is his son. Oh, okay. See, okay, I, right. Okay. I just had Brian Record. If you go to my YouTube, you'll see Brian Record on the show. The Shy Lights. Is he a Lights. singer, he wrote, too? No, he wrote a book about his dad, but he's a producer. Wow. He wrote a book about I his dad. I love the Shy Lights. My dad and, and, and Lights. Uh -huh. You can go to my YouTube and see the interview. Mm -hmm. And we, had, uh, we were at the loft where my mm -hmm. stage was, mm -hmm. and we had steppers on the show dancing wow. to the Shy Lights and music. Wait. R, R. Kelly and Steppers. Oh, we gonna talk about this. Yeah, R. R. Kelly, Kelly you and Steppers. Forget, you can't forget Kale yeah. for the shot. Right, you right. Can't and all the stepping, you know. Okay. So go ahead. Right, I'm sorry. right, right. And so yeah, the shy lights. So I'm very close to Brian Record and okay. their family. I love the shy lights. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. And um, that's what Chicago was all about. Chaka Khan and Earth Chaka Wind and Khan, Fire. See, Earth Wind Fire. <laughs> that's true. It's too so many. Everything about right. Chicago in the Midwest. So. That's why to have a product line in the Midwest is just the next best thing to heaven. That's true. <laughs> all you. right, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy life, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Yates, for having Thank me you. here. Thank you for having me again.